Hi there, Gemini. It is CJ from CJ Soul Messages. How are you doing? I hope you're doing really good. Uh, thank you for joining me here today. Um, I am going to be doing a little bit of a different kind of read today. I will be doing tarot, but I also will be incorporating a sacred wax pouring uh, reading as well. Um, this wax reading has been passed down to me from generations and generations of my bloodline um, and it is very special and important to me. I have um, meditated and cleansed the space and blessed the wax. It is right now just sitting in some beautiful water doing its thing. Um, and so we'll get into that a little later on as it takes its shape of what spirit wishes for you to know. Um, this will be a timeless reading, basically. Uh, the day I'm doing it, it is the 12th of November, 2021. But whenever you feel drawn to this reading is when it is meant for you. Um, this reading will not resonate with every Gemini, of course. How can it? There's so many beautiful Geminis out there. But um, just take what does and let the rest go. Um, if it doesn't make sense to you at all, that's okay. It's not for you. That's all. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, it's not a gender, my tongue just kind of got tied there. Uh, it's not a gender specific reading, of course, nor is it a, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. So it is for the collective Geminis um, or cross watchers. And um, so when I speak of the energy of the card, I may refer to it as she or he, but what it doesn't matter. That's just the en en energy of the card. We all have masculine and feminine energies within our, within ourselves, right? So, and I think that's kind of about it. It will... Um, the other thing is, is that the energy of the cards and also the wax, it applies to whatever genre you are inquiring about or that you are interested on um, learning a little bit more. So it can be love, it can be family, it can be career, it can be money, it can be um, whatever. Whatever is going on in your life, we all have different things going on um, and we're all at different stages. So um, yeah, I think that's about it. So let's get started. I am going to begin with asking Spirit to pull one card of the Divine Animal Oracle deck, and um, then we'll move on into the tarot and look at the wax. Now, my hands are a little cold. Um, I was just taking a moment uh, to go outside. It's beginning to snow here where I am in Canada, and so um, my fingers are a little cold. So I'm just going to try and warm them up quickly. All right, I think we're ready. I'm just going to take a nice deep breath and exhale just to connect again. And then we'll get moving on and see what spirit has for you. Beautiful Gemini. All right. Spirit, please show me clearly what, what message do you have for the air sign, Gemini? for this reading. Please show me clearly and offer me guidance. Thank you. One card, please. One card, please. Ooh, felt a little. Thought three were gonna fall out there. One card, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, that is... <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful, but that is way too many. So I'm going to put them back in here, and we're going to go again. It's probably not helping that my hands are a little chilled. This one. Thank you. All right. What do we have? We have tarantula underneath, so connection. Tarantula speaks of connections. Connection to others, connection to life, connection to life force. So we'll keep that in mind as we do your reading and dig in a little bit more. But what has come out for you? Oh, interesting. Observation. Now, I don't know how to say this. Uh, peregrine falcon? I think that's how you say it. Peregrine, Peregrine Falcon. Wow, okay, observation. Hmm, well, first um, energy I'm getting off of this uh, that Spirit has given me is, first of all, Falcon, beautiful bird. Uh, you know, all birds can see much 
clearer than we can. Um, they can see things from a different perspective. Uh, we normally are on the ground unless we're flying in a plane or something like that. But, you know, birds can see things from our level, from ground level, but they also can rise and be above and see things from a completely different way than we can. So perhaps that is what Spirit is wanting you to think about or to maybe actually um, incorporate into your into your life um, regarding whatever it is that you are wishing to have an answer on. But observation it is about observing, not necessarily doing something. Um, maybe it, this is speaking of observing the way something is unfolding, reserve, um, observing how someone is behaving. Um, it, we'll, we'll have to dig in a little bit deeper, but the number is 25 and that does reduce down to seven. So maybe keep in mind 25 or seven um, as you go about your day-to-day -day stuff. Maybe there's a message in that for you, but I'll show it to you. And then I am going to look in the book to get the full meaning of what spirit wants me to get across to you. Okay. So that's beautiful. Uh, it's a huge bird on this, on this picture. And there's something about trusting here too, because there is a figure that is reaching his or her hand up to what looks like the third eye on the falcon. Um, and behind it, it is all lit up with some beautiful light from the sky, from the sun shining through clouds here. So keep that in mind. All right, so let me just get to, to the um, right up here and I'll read it. Take a step back and simply observe a situation. Listen and watch before you decide on a course of action, as acting rashly will not serve you in your current situation. You are being supported by powerful forces. Do not fear. You are protected. Okay, that's a pretty um, incredible message coming through here, Gemini. Um, whatever is going on in your life, in your world, there is the need, Spirit is saying, is just take a step back, observe what's going on, um, don't overreact, don't jump in, don't do anything until probably you have a bit more of a clarity going on. And remember, you don't have anything to fear. You are always protected. Always, always, always. So beautiful message that Spirit is starting this reading off for you. Uh, I love it. Okay, so let's start. Okay, I'm going to start getting uh, three cards from the uh, Lightseer's Tarot. All right, Spirit, three cards, please, for our beautiful Gemini. Three cards, please. Okay, that was going to be a lot. This one. Thank you. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, no. So we got Seven of Pentacles coming out. Interesting. That is an observation position. It is all about checking to see what you are putting into a person or a situation. Thank you very much. Um, you're looking to see what you're putting in. Are you getting the return? What is your harvest on something? But we'll go deeper here. And, oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Okay, they want it this way. Thank you. Okay, Gemini. So, we're going to have to dive deep here. But um, Seven of Pentacles, Pentacles are our um, it's the earth element and it is, you know, our tangible things, all the things that we can buy, money, you know, real estate, etc., all of that. And it also is our self-confidence or lack of self-confidence. But the Seven of uh, Pentacles is asking you to look at what you are putting into a situation, a career, a relationship, et cetera, et cetera. You are looking to see if what you are putting in, are you, what, what are you gaining out of it? What are you receiving in return for it? Is it equal? Is it worth it? Is the effort you're putting in worth the return of what you are receiving? In this specific deck, the answer is yes, um, or it will be. If you look, the plant isn't so huge that he's looking at, but when you look underneath, so, you know, you would kind of think, oh, there's probably not much going on too much underneath, right? Because it's not a huge, beautiful, big plant. It's smaller, but underneath, look at all the pentacles. They are just growing. So there is the indication here that whatever this is, it seems to be that you're getting some harvest from whatever you've put into 
um, a situation, person, place, thing, whatever that is. Then we have the Eight of Wands. So that is our fire element. And we have two wands here. Um, fire element. So uh, Saggy, Leo, and uh, Aries. But Eight of Wands is fast movement. It is something coming in really quick and really powerful. It also is very, very focused energy. If you look, all the wands are all pointing to, to the center here, right? Um, so for some, this could be some huge message coming in, some um, news coming in. This also could be you moving really fast. Maybe you are moving um, from where you live. Maybe you are moving to another country. Um, could be any of those things. I mean, it's going to apply all differently to all Geminis. But this is something coming in really fast. There's a lot of energy behind this card. It's powerful. And then there is the King of Wands that shows up here. So, King of Wands. Wow. Um, this is, you are in charge. This is, Wands are our passion. It's our, in, it's our um, creativity, it's the fire element, as I said, it's our creativity, it's our um, innovation, it's our drive, it's our business, it's our entrepreneurship, if you are, um, you have your own business. Um, but the king of wands, he is so stable and so, so self-assured. He's not cocky or arrogant, but he is confident. This is true beautiful, graceful confidence. And even though there's a lion behind him, he isn't fearful of that line at all because he is, he knows he's el eluding, is, uh, uh, let me try again. He's exuding his confidence. And even the lion itself, as powerful as that is, is feeling the energy of the King of Wands and is just staring at him, not making a move on him. So there's something here that you may be working on, feels a little bit like business, um, that um, things are growing. And I feel like because of the Eight of Wands being in between the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Wands, this is going to happen very fast for you. Um, so if you are working on some kind of a project or you are working on building your career, your business, that kind of thing. Um, I don't think there's anything that you really have to shift or change very much because <clears throat> Spirit is saying, simply take a step back and observe. Observe what's going on. You don't need to make any moves right now. Things are slowly growing. Um, it's not the Ten of Pentacles yet, but it is the Seven. This is progress. Things are moving along. Just keep nurturing keep putting the energy in, keep putting the work in, but you don't have to make any dr drastic changes. Um, Eight of Wands really feels like there's going to be a lot coming towards you in a positive way that is leading you to this place of feeling really um, confident and secure in, in these moves that you are making. Um, it just feels like a really positive read here, Gemini. It um, so if there's a question here, if you've if you're questioning whatever this is that you may be working on, and sure, it could be a relationship as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, spirit here is saying, yeah, um, there is success coming. There is a positive outcome coming here, um, and with the tarantula underneath about connections, that's kind of the energy I am feeling. It's like. Uh, even the Seven of Pentacles, um, if you look at all the roots going down, that feels very, it looks very similar. And this does look kind of a, like a graphic card. But if you look at the cobwebs, it's got the same, the same kind of connection going on here. So maybe there's something more about this as we dive a little bit deeper. But on the bottom of the deck is Six of Swords. So Six of Swords is telling me that you have been in a place where um, it hasn't been the most easiest place to be. Swords are our air um, element, as you are, Gemini. And, um, you know, the, our intellect, our logic, the way we think, how we, how we communicate, the words we say, the things we think. But Six of Swords is telling me that you have been in a place where it maybe hasn't been the most easiest. It's been rocky. 
if you look down here, this, this water is very choppy and rough and, and waves are splashing and stuff. Um, but you are now moving away from that and you're moving now in a direction that is going to bring you more smoother waters, more balanced waters, um, which is kind of like the promise that things are improving here whatever this might have been um, or is because right now this could be happening to you right now or this could be something that's in your future um, and maybe some for some of you this is in your past but having the seven of pentacles and the eight of wands then the king of wands and then six of swords underneath it's like you are moving away from something that wasn't really um, giving back what you were putting in is what I'm feeling so I think that's why spirit is just saying, you know, maybe hold still here for a moment. Like just allow things to kind of let, allow the energy to kind of move freely because it feels like it's going to carry you to a really good place. Um, and underneath the six of swords is the queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles is all about being independent and confident and um, assured security stableness uh, she's very nurturing and very loving um but look at how peaceful she is she has her eyes closed she's totally connected to her earth element she even has earth the branches growing coming out from her brain her head underneath her hat which is interesting because we are talking about you being the air sign um and everything that goes on in our mind and look at the groundedness that is coming out of her thoughts, which is beautiful, but she doesn't need anything. She has so much tangible money. Um, and she's not worried about, you know, being, um, without, she has a, a lot of, uh, what's the word? Um, she's very stable. That's what I want to say. She has a lot of stableness to her and she's just very content. So this is where you're heading here. Um, underneath that is the three of pentacles. So perhaps there's three of, maybe there's you and two other people that are working on something because three of pentacles is about collaboration. It is about working with others, bringing your skills, your talents, your abilities, your thoughts, your, you know, whatever that is and bringing it with others and working together to create something that is going to be very successful. And I know it's going to be successful because the queen of pentacles is here along with the king of um, wands. King of wands is an entrepreneur. So obviously not everyone's going to be having their own businesses. Not every Gemini has got their own company or any of that kind of stuff, but it's just the energy of it. I feel like you are bossing up here. You are really bossing up and it's happening really fast. So spirit is saying, look, you don't really have to do very much. You just need to observe, just observe and trust that you are protected, safe, and things are happening and unfolding the way that they are meant to for you. And it is in a really positive way. It's, it's moving in a very positive energy for you. And anything that has been not so great has maybe made you a little scared or a little fearful. It's okay. You are moving away from that. It is smoothing out. Look at behind her. That water is smoother behind her, much smoother. So actually really kind of cool reading. Um, and, I, and underneath that is the four of swords. So you probably have been working really hard and you're pretty exhausted. Um, and you're needing, yeah, observing because this four of swords is after like a lot of work can be heartbreak, etc. It can be like really feeling defeated and painful. Um, so for some of you that might have been what's happening. Maybe you've been trying to get something going and it's just every, maybe you've been stopped in your tracks every time you went to move forward. But again, this is about just taking some time out and, um, resting and, um, allowing yourself to rejuvenate again, to get the energy back, observing instead of actually doing underneath that is the four of pentacles. So there's a fear or could have been a fear or is a fear that you might not get any more pentacles. So you hold on a little too tight. This card is also known as the miser card. Um, she's holding her purse of pentacles as if she's not going to like let it out of her clutches because she's too afraid that she might not get any more pentacles. Um, so spirit's just giving that here to let you know, <coughs> you don't have to be in that energy anymore. 
this is um, a lot of movement and it's happening quite fast for you, Gemini. You know, um, man, I mean, whatever your passion is, it seems like if this is what you're going after and this is what you're putting into play, um, it is going to bring you a lot of success. <clears throat> like a lot of success. And it is happening way faster than I think you even can even imagine. Um, yeah. So let's see if we can get some extra cards or clarifiers that Spirit might have for you. Beautiful reads. I like it a lot. Um, okay, they just want me to... They just want me to look at the tarantula one, so I will. Let's see. What is it that you are wanting me to pick up here? Okay, so something about... Something about don't be, don't be afraid to make the connections that you need to make. Don't be, don't be fearful. Don't be... And I can't imagine you being like that, Gemini. You are a great communicator. Um, you are captivating when you speak, everyone listens, um, you are very charismatic. Uh, so maybe spirit is saying you don't forget to use that. Don't forget to use that in whatever this is re relating to for you. Don't forget your beautiful gifts because you are, um, so imaginative and I have, I have many Geminis, um, in my life and I mean, wonderful storytellers. You do captivate me when you speak. It's just, I don't know. You're just um, infectious in your beautiful energy. So I think that's what Spirit is trying to remind you of in case you have forgotten lately. Where's my... Oh, there it is. Jeez, I'm feeling a little... I don't know. Then all of a sudden I just felt a little scattered in my mind. Okay. Thank you so much, Spirit. What else do you have for Gemini? Definitely people coming together, working together, collaborating together. Maybe it's you and a couple other business partners. Um, yeah, maybe. Because that three of pentacles is really jumping out. But it's going to be successful. Any other messages for Gemini for this reading? Nothing to fear. That's just what I want to say. Wow. Three of Cups. Here we go. So we had three of Pentacles. Three of Cups is coming out now. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Three cups. Water element. So Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Three of Cups is awesome. This is three people hanging out. Can be more, of course. Uh, could be less, but it's the Three of Cups. But this is three energies that are coming together, and they are supporting each other, and they are light in their hearts and it's joyful it's fun it's celebrating it's having a good time um it's feeling emotionally happy so i definitely feel like there's something going on with two other people for you it doesn't have to be but that is the energy that i am picking up on um very successful this is like a very successful read um it just feels like any doubts you might have had or any fears or concerns, it's okay. Just relax. Take a breath. Relax. Take a moment. Take a moment out. Um, have a breather. Have some fun, I feel. Because it is all working the way it is meant to work for you. Oh. Okay. Show me clearly. Spirit. A couple more cards. Two more cards. For Gemini, for this reading, what's happening? Looks like great success. So, is there anything? Okay. King of Wands. Two King of Wands here. So, confirmation. Double confirmation. Um, just, you are bossing up in whatever this is. There doesn't seem to be any hiccups. The only hiccup that I can see is if you start making moves maybe because you're 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 not sure if okay because the seven of pentacles you can't see what is underneath right i mean literally if you plant um a potato plant or yeah or carrots or something underneath you don't really know what's growing underneath until you dig it up right you can guess especially with potatoes for some reason that's coming to my head um 
but you don't really know if you're going to have a huge harvest or not. But you are going to have a huge harvest. So the only thing I would say is just try to take a time out and, and just relax a little bit. Just back up a little bit like like the um, falcon is saying. Um, a little time out. Give it a little bit more time. There's not anything that you really have to act on here because it's already starting to build and gain momentum very quickly. King of Wands twice is like you had your goal, you had your uh, vision and your focus and you have risen to the top and you are very successful. I do feel like it's with two other people. I mean, maybe it's your family that's behind you or something really supporting you, but it does feel like there's some really great support here. Something is really growing. Thank you so much. Is there any other messages, Spirit, for Gemini? I feel like I just want one more, please. This one, thank you. Knight of Coins, there we go. Okay, so everything is indicating here. Uh, seven of Coins again. So Gemini, you got two Seven of Coins. So your harvest is growing. This, whatever this is, your it is growing. Your money is growing. Your, your tangible things are growing, along with your self-esteem. It is growing too, in a beautiful, healthy, graceful way. Um, just take a step back. There's no need to pressure or to stress yourself out that you're not doing enough or maybe you should try this or that. No, nope. just breathe, relax, enjoy where you are because we've got the king of coin or sorry, the knight of coins has come out now. Same energy as the observate observing, um, except the difference is knight of coins. He is the knight that takes things slow. He's methodical. He crosses his T's, dots his I's. He makes his plan. He makes his list. And he figures out how he's going to get from A to Z. But he doesn't rush. He doesn't miss a step. That is why he always wins the race. Um, because he takes it nice and slow. So Spirit is saying, Gemini, you are doing everything right. Just relax. It's all coming. Everything that you're wanting is coming to you. Looks like you are going to be making some decent money if this is um, about your finances. If this is about your career, you are definitely growing. Um, you are, you're getting bigger. Um, and it's going to be quite rapid. The, uh, like as you are climbing. You are. And you're going to be at the top. Maybe you're going for some big corporate position or something. Feels like you're going to get it. There's nothing low vibe here in this reading. I, nothing. It just feels like you're working diligently and you're putting in the work and you're you're putting all the focus in and you're kind of going, well, geez, what's, is, is it coming? Is it coming? And then boom. <laughs> boom. It just grows and it grows fast. I just want to see what's underneath. Three of Wands making a lot of progress. Interesting enough under that is the Three of Swords. So Three of Swords might just have been a, a setback that you had. Something that maybe you've tried this in the past and it didn't work and it kind of broke your heart a bit. Um, if this is about a business and maybe it didn't succeed, but this time it is. If this is about a relationship, same energy here. It is you're working on this relationship and things change very quickly um, for the better. Um, there, but I, you know, it just it does. Things grow and become better. There's nothing negative here. I just I can't really read for the love right now because spirit is not giving me that at all, and I'm not seeing it either. Three of Cups only cup card we have um and that is one of just celebrating and having fun with friends family loved ones um so gemini that's it i'm gonna i'll stop the, the tarot here because spirit isn't that's it that's what they want you to know just relax i mean take a breath and relax go have a little bit of fun everything you're working on is growing it's just going to take a little bit of time but not that much because Ace of Wands comes in and goes, 
and things just start popping for you. This is looking bloody great. Exciting. Very exciting. I'd love to know what it is that you are working on or where, um, what this is relevant to in your, in your world because it just looks good, really good. And if it didn't work out in the past, forget about it because you're not in the past anymore. You're in the present. And this is looking perfect. All right, so let's now take a look at what Spirit has for the wax reading. <coughs> Looks really good. Thank you, Spirit. Just get the wa water off. Oof. Whoa. Wow. Holy shit, there's a lot going on here. Okay, Gemini, here it is. This is, this is success. This is rapid success. Oh, and there's there, one, two, there's three. One, two, three. So it looks like there's three people involved. I'm going to try and show you the best I can. I uh, wish my camera would pick this up a little bit better. But there's one. Um, I'm going to use my feather that I love. There's one person there's two person and then there's three and they're all joined together but they're definitely different all three of these do not look the same but yet they are connected can you see that one two three so definitely feel like for a lot of you there's three people involved three people three things something like that something three but what I also want to say here is it looks like it happens fast, the success. See, this is pretty flat and low. I'll show it to you on that, like that level. All of a sudden, boom, it starts to grow. And then, boom, it just explodes. So whatever this is, this is, this is growing. Look at that. Look at it from the side. That's incredible. That is incredible growth. It is so perfect with this reading. It's just like, you know, here we go, here we go, take it, and then achoo, success. And there even looks like there's like pearls here, lots of little pearls, um, uh, which I would say representing, or pentacles, pentacles, um, sure. Pearls, pentacles, pearls are valuable, jewels. A lot of riches happening here. A lot of riches coming into your world. That's exciting, Gemini. I just want to have one more look to see if I'm picking up on anything else. Look, you got you got like these little jewels everywhere. And for me, that is representing wealth. I don't know how else to put it, but it is representing some really some really good stable finances happening and it's from this success it's from this blow up that's that's going to be happening wow i love it okay so there you go that's your wax writing pretty incredible one two three one two three people three people three things or third time maybe maybe it's representing this is the third time third time's a lucky charm for you right um yeah place it where it may fit if it fits for you but it looks beautiful gemini i wish i was a gemini at this moment <laughs> okay gemini with that i'm going to close this reading off i wish you a wonderful um a wonderful journey and um i hope to see you back here on my next raid. Thank you so much for showing up and being here. I really do appreciate your support. Please remember to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. It's really important, especially to help me grow this channel. I hope to continue doing this. Um, it is my love and it is my passion um, and, I, and my blessing that I have been given. So thank you so much. Take great care of yourself. And until next time, see you later.